first quality is to be curious. This is really, it, 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 it's very simple, but you have to be curious. I'm doing myself quite often a session with students, and I always say, what you have is you have to uh, keep your mind when you were six and when you were asking questions all the time. Why is it? How does it work? Why is it? Why the sky is blue? Why the sun is hot? Why, 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 why? And if you keep on being curious, then you, you will look at a lot of things. And you have to be curious not only once in a while, but all the time, all day long, all night long. So it's, it's really something that you have to... You have to feel. It's like you, you need to you need to breathe air to, to be alive. If you want to uh, be a good creator and if you want to be a transporter, you just need to be curious all the time. So it means that you need to watch what are people reading into in, in the train, um, what kind of new yogurt uh, your supermarket offers, uh, where your uh, friends, relatives, or whatever are going uh, out. Are they going to the concert? Are they going to the theater? Are they going to the movie? Uh, what are your kids doing? Uh, is there more dogs than cats now uh, in, 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 the, in the houses you are uh, invited? Um, well, you need to go to exhibition. You need to go to see movie. You need to read a lot of things. You need to speak with a lot of people. And you need to be open, open-minded and curious all the time. And when you have got all this information, this is a lot of data. So... After, you have to make a kind of synthesis of those data. You have to make connection with those data. I say, oh, I have been looking at that uh, when I was taking a plan. I read this article, and this makes me think of an exhibition which is going to be uh, um, in London in a couple of months. And I remember when I had a talk with one of my friends. So you have to make connections, and it, it's, it's like a net. So in your mind, in your own brain, with all those data, you make not and you make a net and after a while you have one idea maybe and you um uh, be uh, very humble and you try to ask yourself um is this a trend is it relevant um why is it here to uh, uh is it belong to something that was already there before and is it the evolution of something is it a brand new trend um and what the use of this trend? Does it answer to a, to a question? Does it solve a problem? Is it just a question of something fashionable for a couple of months? Or is it a long-term trend? So you have to be curious. You have to make uh, links between things. You have to ask questions. Uh, in fact, I, I would say that the, the most important thing is, is really always to ask yourself questions. And... You spend a lot of time observing then too, so good observational skills, um, being curious, but but looking and being open and being present to what is around you. Yeah, right. Yeah, you need to you need to be open. You need to be curious, but you need also to have uh, after that uh, the mind uh, trained. This is what I say. It's 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 an intuition, but it's also a know how. So uh, first. You have the intuition, so you, you, you find the data and you think that you have the feeling that it's a good data, it's an, an interesting one. But then you have to know how, which is that um, you go back from sky to earth, uh, from the clouds to down on earth, and uh, asking yourself, is it relevant? Why is it for? Uh, how can I use it? Uh, for which industry could it, could it, could it be useful? Um, and, and, and it's, it's really a, a, a kind of a, a go and force and go and force kind of system. So uh, it's not necessarily innate. Maybe the intuition is innate, but it is something you can also learn. Yeah, sure. If you, uh, but you have to be, if you are not curious at the beginning, if you are not interested in people and, 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 and in it, in, in, in understanding, trying to understand the world in, in, into which you are living, if you can train it, you can you can learn it, but you have to be curious. And curiosity, um, unfortunately, is, is something that uh, cannot be teach. Or you are lucky enough to, um, uh, 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 that you were able to keep it when you were a child and you still have it. This curiosity. <laughs> But otherwise, it's difficult. And curiosity is not something that you can you can learn. You you it's it's um, it's.
it's I don't know like uh, if you like to uh, to laugh or if you like to smile and it's it's something that is really deeply into yourself. So yeah. you can train yourself a lot, but you need something which at the very beginning that you cannot learn, which is curiosity. Yeah, and you have. To, I think that um, part of the reason that um, I think curiosity is important also is that uh, I find myself. Um, there, you, you're not necessarily looking for a reward or an, or an end to it or, you know, you, you are doing it for the love of it itself. Just that curiosity, the love of the curiosity, the finding the next thing and, and keep going. So I make connections, even though there may not be any benefit to me, I will keep going through all the connections just to see what they all are. It's, uh, I mean, I can't avoid it. You know, yeah. it's, 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 it, I'm sorry, but I can't avoid it. So, um, it, it's it's the kind of job that you, in fact, you do all the time. You you do all the time, or you don't do it. But in fact, you do it all, all the time. You you do it when you are lining uh, to, to 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 enter into into a movie theater. You 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 do it when you are invited with friends at a dinner party. You 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 do it when you are on the beach watching your kids playing with what kind of tools? With what is it plastic? Is it wood? What kind of color? So, so you do it all the time. I mean, when I'm entering a room, uh, I, I can notice what kind of shoes the women are wearing and um, and what was the, 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 the color of the paint or whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, as you said, you, you do it all the time. It's yeah, like and, and this skill is this, this ability to find the nuance, the little thing that sets different things apart. So what do you think is the role of these algorithms that are trying to do this stuff for us? Uh, I, I, I just don't think it can replace human nuance. I don't think so. Not yet. Maybe later, uh, but not yet. I, I would say that we have a, a, a capacity of, of uh, uh, serendipity uh, that at the moment, the, 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 I think that the robots will be, will be fine in a while, but not yet. Uh, I mean, I think we, we need, um, uh, of course, we, 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 we can take less data than, than a robot. That's for sure. But we, 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 we have a memory, we have a human uh, touch, which is very important. So I, I would say that uh, um, we can use uh, some algorithm, we can use some... Um, uh, a, a lot of good tools, like if you want to make a search on Twitter with a hashtag, but at least you have to find the good hashtag. So it's like when you look into, into, into I don't know, you, when you want to Google something, uh, you know that like me, uh, if you ask two people or three people or ten people to do the same research on Google, they will not do it the same because they will not type the same words. And, and one might do it uh, faster and, and, and easier than the other one. So I think it's also um, uh, it's also a kind of combination of knowing what you are looking for and be open to finding what you were not looking for and not throwing away the things that you were not looking for, but uh, consider them uh, with a kind of uh, open mind and say, okay, I was looking for, I don't know, data on the uh, sunglasses because I'm, I'm, I'm involved in sunglasses. But while I was looking for sunglasses, I found something very interesting about, uh, I don't know, a new prototype of, 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 of car, electric car, whatever. And so to consider this data as, okay, this was not my request, but it means something. I keep it somewhere. So I think <laughs> that time we have more... Uh, flexibility than uh, the robots. So. so the big question is, so when you say you keep it somewhere, this is my challenge too. So how do you organize um, this information? Uh, uh, my brain. <laughs> my brain is a, is, a, is a hard disk. No, but I'm kidding, but it's true. Yeah. Uh, but I have also uh, other, uh, other tools. I, I do use a lot Evernote. I, I like it very much. I think Evernote is something very, um, very good to me. Uh, it's very intuitive to me, so I like it a lot. Uh, I do a lot of photo. Um, also, I, I, I do a lot of photo of, uh, of things just to, to make them, to keep in mind. 
Sometimes it's it's it might be even uh, uh, just a photo of the cover of a book or the, the uh, even text. Sometimes I'm I'm taking text in photo. Um, so I would say that uh, um, uh, with the, the the help of a very uh, cleverly uh, designed tool like Evernote, it's much easier now because the search in Evernote is really great. So you can look for a word which is in the title, but also inside the text. So uh, um, I would say that uh, I'm making a lot of lists all the time. Uh, I'm making a lot of photo. Uh, I have uh, I have everything on computer. I have uh, before I used to have papers and postcards and photo when I was younger. But now this is this is gone. So I have everything on, on uh, uh, um, inside my iPhone or inside my uh, my MacBook Air, and um, and um, and I save it automatically with Time Machine because I'm afraid of losing it. <laughs> so um, and and even even like that, from time to time I, I make a kind of a, um, how can I say that a, a kind of. A, um, uh, half an hour of, of, of uh, uh, um, um, serendipity, happily, whatever, search in, in, in my notes, you know, because sometimes I come back things in my notes that I, I forget or uh, um, or finally I'm, I'm, at that time I'm interested in Starbucks because I think that the way they move is very smart. So I'm, 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 I'm taking a lot of, uh, of uh, uh, each time I find a, a, an article or a post or something, I, I'm just taking it apart. But I, I realized that I made a, 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 a notes called the Starbucks, Japan, then one called the, uh, Holland, then one called the, whatever, you know. So I try to combine them and... Once in a while, I just have a, a kind of um, I'm, I'm I'm just swimming in my notes just to see if something is is, is emerging. But it's true that it's a lot of data. But uh, um, you have also to trust your intuition to um, uh, because the machine never forgets anything. You can you can stock a lot of data in your computer or uh, this is okay. But your your brain uh, after a while has to, to to make a kind of reset. So you have also to trust your intuition when something is 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 is, uh, is gone, is vanished. It might mean also that this is not so relevant. So it, it's in between trusting technology and trusting your intuition. Balance. No, absolutely beautiful. I love that explanation. That's very nice. Um, so tell us, what are some of these predictions for the future? What 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 is the the most important thing for the future? Uh, I, I think, uh, uh, I would say that, to my point of view, the very big, uh, one of the very big difference uh, today, and one of the very, very good, 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 good news today is the idea of uh, shareable economy. I think with the idea that uh, uh, we can have collaboration, and um, this is going to change the whole world. For me, this is something, this is the, the one of the major long-term trends in society. It's really this idea of collaboration. It's really this idea of, of sharing things together, um, not being obliged to uh, possess something uh, that you can rent, you can share, you can use, you can... Um, so it's all the... Um, I think it's all what we have seen uh, uh, as kind of... Uh, um, all the websites like Kickstarter, all the things like uh, RMB, uh, all the things where you can really share things with people, exchange it. And, and um, for me, this is very um, a very important shift in economy and in the way people uh, behave and in the way people will do things in the future. For me, collaboration and shareable are really uh, a very, very important value for the future. Well, I'm so grateful to, that we were able to collaborate and share all this great information <laughs> today. Right. Uh, you provided some wonderful information, and I can't wait to have you as a guest on Idea Chat, too. Okay, that's nice. Thanks. Thank you.